ammo and max ammo obviously okay the weird part is I don't see any indication on the map any sort of waypoint but I assume that this is the only way to go you don't always need a indication nice stim pack we don't need that now I'm going to have some real fun you're not getting out of here um Come on, I need the HP. Come on, baby, I need HP. Thank you. So this is the, um, I have to say, nasty, oh my goodness, the nasty part about the boss fight. You don't even have a indication how much HP he has remaining. But we could rebuy a stim pack, right? Do I understand this correctly? Sorry, I gotta need to concentrate for a little second. Critical is nice. But I would like to have the death, the tref, um, I would have liked the death blow there, actually. So maybe that's the way to go, right? Always jump away, let him come, and then try to um, move away, right? Once you're down in HP, we are... Kill him! Okay. That was bad, man. I don't want to receive bonus damage. Oh, that's bad, man. Um, health pack, thank you. That's actually quite nifty that he can, so to say, abort our kill animation there. Where is he? There, hello boy. I mean, I wanted to say it's good that we, we could theoretically buy stim packs, right? But in the end... <gasps> I just wanted to take the med kit! <laughs> Buddy, 
Could you please? And so he became a shooty guy. Let me actually see if I'm able to... Okay. I mean, that's costly. But dying now would be um, quite nasty, right? That's, of course, absolutely annoying that this guy became... A from close combat to range, right? I'd say we are gonna fight a little bit. Oh my goodness, that was bad, man. Oh, Reflective Hit's not down! Now it is. I don't even, so to say, maybe that's the problem is that I went too far ahead. That I'm not even able, they are spawning so many enemies here. Maybe that's gonna be a little bit of the problem. Let me actually get the hell out of here. Oh god, I fear the worst to be honest. Oh boy! <laughs> to be honest, these are actually fights in games I don't 100% like too too much to be honest. Because it is... We are very, very low on health. I mean, okay, yes, we have still two stim packs remaining. Could I? Um, could you please take him down in close combat? Thank you. And yes, that was at the last second. This is um, this is something I there you can see. I mean, this game is not developed by a triple A title, you know, and with. This, when you are being, let's say like that, thrown away, you actually see that it is not from a triple title because you are teleported back. And I have to say, this game is insanely hard. I mean, how many magazines am I supposed to drop into him, right? I mean, I have to say, the boss fight here would be 
even though if that we can do the close combat insta kills even then the um it would be very very hard okay i i mean what i wanted to say there obviously even with the normal enemies which we need to regenerate health i get that but even without them it would be very very hard oh is he down okay did i complain there for nothing i think i did complain for nothing i'm sorry oh god i hope that not all of the boss sites are gonna be that nifty and hefty nifty Sorry for my complaining, there was just a little bit. I mean, in the end, we died a lot. Six times, something like that. But through, obviously, the Stimpaks, it is. Um, it went just good. Sorry that I complained there a little bit, but I was a little frustrated. So what I've learned is actually maybe retreating is not always the best option. I mean, yes, you could say, you could argue I ran a little bit away, but I still hope that not too, too many enemies like that are actually gonna come up. What I've learned in games like Doom, that actually when the games, I mean, okay, we are not getting healed up, but, okay, cannot destroy that. Normally, that means there's one, another tough fight coming up. This is what I would say which will happen next oh we are back here i wonder i wonder where we have to go next thing up here no can i go through that door okay was a wild guess i know okay i guess this is the way right Would have been a little bit annoying if we would have died there, right? Oh my god. This feels stupid, man. Ah, I've overseen something. Well. And we need to progress through the gladiator territory. I assume that. Sadly enough, the one enemy. I mean, the game devs needed to know how hard this fight is, right? They wouldn't have put the comp oh that's an i thought it was a weapon they wouldn't have put the thing where you can rebuy stim packs there if they would have thought it's an easy mission right this is just what i'm guessing oh all of them all right Okay, that was. I thought I only hit two, but all of them were knocked down. What am I complaining about? Okay, for a small second thought, they were pouring that in here. Okay, we need to take that way. That is what I feared. And we probably need to get out of this wonderful little bucket in the right moment because this is used for the melted steel iron or whatever that is get out quickly yes 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 could you take please at least one down oh i did not react entirely there And I just assume we gotta need to be a little bit careful in not falling into the big bucket. I'm sorry that I don't know the precise naming there. I wouldn't even know that in German, um, entirely not in English. Okay, we got one bullet 
I don't know whether I'm doing the right thing here or not. I had to hope that they were coming down one by one again. Boy, what are you doing there? That was your utter and certain death. Oh, a grenade would have been amazing now. I don't remember if we in Doom actually had a mini map on the HUD. This is actually something I am kind of missing. And would be wishing for. First jumpy thunder hammer close combat guy down. Second reflector field down. Oh, he. I thought I have ripped you off there. Does he have a jump pack? Yes, um, not the Space Marine jump pack, obviously, but some sort of jump pack he has. Ah, I can take him down. Okay, I thought this was again a boss fight. Lucky for us not. Those beasts again. And she had a graph gun, right? Oh my god. Alright, don't she is. Keep going. Can I use that? Okay, this is not what I under this is what I not understand. Keep why ever it worked out now. Oh, he has a cloaking device and a wonderful sword. He has two. But they all have beautiful well, swords. Well. I was starting to think you had earned your fortune and left for good. Shut up. What are you doing here anyway? We came to rescue you. Do I look like I need rescuing? Oh, come on now. We came with good intentions. I can't even be fashionably late to a rescue now. You know, you could have taken my advice and avoided all this trouble. Your advice isn't going to help anyone avoid trouble. Oh, perhaps not. But it might just get them out of it in the end. Or further in. Who was that? He's working for the Goliaths? Or for the Silver Talon? Hmm. I don't know. There have been developments. Let's get back to Marta's end and I'll tell you more. Our friend here can show us how to get there without drawing any more unwanted attention.
And that, you guys, brings us right now to the end of this episode. I will go through here in the off. This has nothing to do in the episode. But for now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, then please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully, and hopefully I see you in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.